Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I want to tell you guys that monitoring someone's phone without their consent is illegal and unethical. It should be 100% clear that it's completely illegal to install any software on another adult's phone without their knowledge. This video is for educational purposes only, and you should always use such software responsibly and within the bounds of the law, such as parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. Nevertheless, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install iZ for both Android and iPhone users, and we'll go step by step on how to download and install iZ for those devices, ensuring that you can monitor necessary activities within legal boundaries. With that said, just to be upfront, I am an affiliate of pretty much all the companies that we talk about, including iZ, but my recommendation would not ever mean much if we didn't give you my honest opinion. And if at any point you decide to try iZ, you can use the affiliate link down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you can get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't be able to get if you went directly to their website. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, in order to install iZ, you need to sign up for an account choose a subscription plan and follow the installation steps. And once installed, you can log into your account from any browser and start monitoring the target phone. Okay, let's dive into the installation process for non-jailbroken phones. This method is pretty straightforward and it doesn't take too much time. First, log into your IZ account and choose a subscription plan that suits your needs. Then select the iOS option, which will take you to the iCloud sync page. Here's where you need the target phone's iCloud credentials. After you enter those details, you'll have to wait for the 2FA, two-factor authentic code to appear on the target's device. Enter that code and you're just about there. Okay, so after entering the code, you'll need to wait just a few minutes for iZ to sync data from the phone's iCloud backup to your iZ dashboard. That's pretty much it. You are all set up and set to go. Okay, now it's important to mention that to access iZ's full range of features, you'll need to jailbreak your iPhone. But before you even think about jailbreaking a device, you should know it's risky and should be done by professional because it can damage the device. Fortunately, however, the IC team does offer a service to jailbreak and install the app remotely for an additional cost. Okay, so for those of you who already have jailbroken iPhones, let's go through the next steps. Okay, you'll need to disable the App Store and any security features, then open Cydia, which is the App Store for jailbroken devices, and add the IZ repository URL. Once that's done, search for the IZ app in Cydia and install it. After you complete the installation, open the app, grant all the necessary permissions that pop up on the screen. Then in order to finish the setup process, you need to follow the on-screen step-by-step instructions. And once you've completed it, iZ will start monitoring the target device and you can view the data from your dashboard. Okay, so now let's move on to the installation process for Android devices. This method does require a few steps, but it's pretty manageable if you follow along closely. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is disable the play protect feature. And to do this, you need to open the Google Play Store, tap the three dots in the upper right corner and check play protect. Then tap the settings button in the upper Upper right corner and untick scan with play protect next you need to disable google play store notifications so you need to go to your iphone settings find the app section select google play store and untick show notifications once that's done open your web browser and go to the link provided by ic past the captcha verification to start downloading the app for security reasons the app might actually be called update service or something like that i forgot now that you have the app downloaded on your phone you need to enable installation from unknown sources so when you open the downloaded app Check the box to enable this, grant all the necessary permissions, and enter the verification code you receive via email after subscribing to a plan. Okay, to finish the setup process, follow the on-screen instructions, and once everything's installed, iZ will start monitoring the target device, and you can view the data right from your dashboard. Okay, that's it. Now you know how to install iZ both on iPhone and Android devices, and remember to always use such software responsibly and legally, such as for parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. Okay, that's all for this tutorial and video. If you found it helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to try IZ, you can use the affiliate link that's down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't be able to get if you went directly to their website. As always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So leave any questions or comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Okay. And finally, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.